adding probabilities. This is lesson 15.6b. I really recommend seeing video A, the one right before this. If you haven't seen the 15 previous videos for this chapter, they're linked in the description. We can find the probability that one event or another will occur. When rolling a number cube, the sample space S is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. There's six sides to a die, so there's six numbers. Our sample space are those six numbers. So I have a theorem. If A and B are events from a sample space S, then the probability of A union B will equal the probability of A plus the probability of B minus the probability of A intersect B. So let me explain this and show this to you. If we roll a number cube with a sample space, one, two, three, four, five, six, those are the six sides, the six numbers on a die, what's the probability of rolling a prime number or an odd number? So remember, one isn't prime. We can represent these two events as A equals two, three, five, those are the prime numbers, and B equals one, three, five. That's set for the odd numbers. And we can see the relationship between these sets with this diagram. We can see A has 2, 3, and 5, and B has 1, 3, and 5. But look, the 4 and the 6 aren't in either set, are they? And we know that the probability of A is 3, 6. There's three numbers out of a possible 6, so it's 3, 6. And the probability of B is three numbers out of a possible six, so it's three, six. And the diagram shows that A and B have the outcomes three and five in common. Now, if we add the probabilities, we would count the, pro the probabilities of these outcomes twice. We don't want to do that. To avoid this, we can subtract the probability of A intersect B. That three and five, where they intersect, we could subtract that as two six, two numbers out of the six. So now we have the probability of A union B is equal to the probability of A plus the probability of B minus the probability of A intersect B. That means we have the three six from A, the three six from B. We're going to add them together and get six six, and we're going to take away the intersecting two six we're going to end up with 4, 6, or 2 thirds when we simplify it. So the probability of rolling a prime or odd is 2 thirds. Okay? Let's try another one. When rolling a number cube, what's the probability of rolling a number from 2 to 5 or rolling a number 4 or greater? So we're going to let A equal 2, 3, 4, 5. Those are our numbers that go from 2 to 5. And that means the probability of A is 4, 6. We got four numbers out of a possible 6. We have 4, 6 for A. B is going to be 4, 5, and 6. Those are the numbers that are 4 or greater. See? So it includes 4 and the numbers that are greater on the dice, on the die. So that means B is going to equal 3, 6 because there's three numbers out of six possible numbers, isn't there? So we have 4, 6, and 3, 6. And the probability of A intersect B is going to be the 4 and the 5. Both sets have a 4 and a 5, so that's our intersection. See? So that's going to be two numbers out of a possible 6. It's going to be 2, 6. Now we can do the 4, 6 plus the 3, 6 and subtract that 2, 6. So the probability of A is 4, 6 plus the probability of B is 3, 6. We subtract the 2, 6 where the intersect we get 7, 6 minus 2, 6, which is 5, 6. So the probability of rolling a number from 2 to 5 or 4 or greater is 5, 6. All right, let's try another one. When rolling a number cube, what's the probability of rolling a prime number or an even number? So remember, 1's not prime. We're going to let A equal 2, 3, and 5 for that set that represents the event of rolling a prime number. That's three numbers out of a possible six. So we have three six for pro probability of A. Okay. We're going to let B equal the two, four, six. That the, represents the event of rolling an even number. And there's three numbers out of a possible six. So the probability of B is three, six. We can add the three, six, and three, six. And the 
A intersect B is at a 2. Both sets have a 2, don't they? That's just one number out of 6. So the probability of A intersect B is 1, 6. It's one number out of 6. We've got a 3, 6, a 3, 6, and a 1, 6. According to our theorem, we've got the probability of A union B is equal to the probability of A as 3, 6 plus the probability of B as 3, 6 minus where they intersect, that 1, 6. 6, 6 minus 1, 6 is 5, 6, so the probability of rolling a prime number or an even number is 5, 6. So notice how I kept underlining the word or. Everywhere you looked so far, I underlined the word or. See? Or. When you see or, you can pretty much tell you're going to add and then subtract. Okay? When it says one event or another event. In the next video, we're going to talk about when it says and. We're going to multiply when it says one event and another event. Like flipping a coin and rolling a die. Okay? So, two events that have no common element are said to be mutually exclusive. It's when the intersection of two sets is an empty set. They don't have anything in common. Rolling an even number and rolling an odd number with a number cube are mutually exclusive events to each other because they're not going to have the same numbers. If A and B are mutually exclusive, then the probability of A union B is equal to the probability of A plus the probability of B. See how we're not subtracting at the back end like we did in the other ones? There's no common elements to subtract. There's no intersection. If we did even numbers, 2, 4, and 6 for A, and odd numbers, 1, 3, and 5 for B, there is no intersecting number. They don't have any numbers in common, do they? It's an empty set. So these are mutually exclusive, okay? This would be a 3, 6. This would be a 3, 6. And we would just add them together and get a 6, 6, which is a 1. So the reason it says 1 is... If we roll the number cube, what are the odds of us getting an even or odd number? A 1. Remember? 0 means no way and 1 means we're definitely going to. We're definitely going to get either an even or odd number if we roll the cube, right? It's going to be one or the other. So there's a certainty of chance that it's going to be even or odd, okay? When rolling a number cube, what's the probability of rolling a number less than 3 or a number greater than 3? We're going to let A be 1 two, and 2. That'll be the set less than 3, so our probability of A is 2, 6. It's two numbers out of 6. We're going to let B be the 4, 5, 6, because it's got to be greater than 3, so it doesn't include 3. It's greater than it. So we got 4, 5, 6 to be the set greater than 3. So the probability of B is 3, 6, because we've got three numbers out of six possible numbers on the die. A intersection B is an empty set. There's no numbers in A that are the same in B. Their intersection is an empty set. They, they're mutually exclusive. They don't have anything in common. So the probability of A intersect B is a zero. There's no probability that they're going to intersect, okay? And the probability of A union B is going to be the probability of A plus the probability of B. We have 2, 6 plus 3, 6, which is 5, 6. See? The 2, 6 plus the 3, 6. So, the probability of rolling a number less than 3 or a number greater than 3 is 5, 6. Our next lesson is multiplying probabilities, just like I mentioned up here. Okay? I'm going to see the word and. It's going to be 15.6c. We're going to find the probability that one event and another event will occur. So it'll be like flipping a coin and rolling a die. Okay? All right. So if this was helpful in any way, please hit the like button. I hope you're doing well, as always. And I hope you have a great day. And I'll see you next time. Bye.